Hi everyone, I hope that we are all doing well in these unprecedented times. Thank you so much for this honor, but if I'm being truly honest, I don't feel like I deserve this recognition. So what I'm gonna just do for this time is to talk about all the ways in which the union has benefited me and give some shout outs to some amazing folks who helped me become the educator that I am today. The union has taught me that a lot of the problems that my students and I faced are things that are shared uh, amongst my colleagues across the hallway, uh, the teacher in another district, um, teachers who are across the country. It reminds me of a lesson that my first grade teacher taught me. In Japan, we have calligraphy lessons, and I remember Mari Sensei saying that the kanji, or the character for hito, or human, looks like this. I have a little picture for you guys. Two brush strokes, and uh, the mnemonic device that Mari Sensei would give us to remember what a hito was looks like this. And <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by these terrible stick figures, but they are basically two people propping each other up. And, and I love this lesson because I think in many ways it encapsulates the ethos of what a union is. Embedded in the kanji or the character of a person is this idea that we are looking out for one another. And so in that spirit, <coughs> whoops. In that spirit, I wanted to call out some of the hito or the folks who have helped me along the way. So first and foremost, Mary and Max, you have shown me how the union is a vehicle for progressive political change and have been such inspirational leaders to all of us. To the folks at the new members program who've done such an excellent job um, calling us in and teaching us about the power of collective action with enthusiasm. Nick at Melrose High School for just being an awesome ELA teacher and a coach. To the folks in the LGBTQ committee and also the API mentorship group that I'm a part of who have taught me that it's important to hold even progressive spaces like the union accountable to issues like diversity and inclusivity. Uh, all of the union leaders at New Bedford Public Schools District, folks like Chris Garcia, our union reps, the dozens of folks who organized the New Bedford Coalition to Save Our Schools. Uh, there are so many leaders who are working behind the scenes and looking out for all of our best interests as teachers so that we can focus on doing what we love the most, which is teaching. Recently, we lost one of our community leaders from the coalition, Jose Soler. He was an artist, a fierce activist, and, and really the heart and soul of so much of our community efforts in New Bedford. And so um, in many ways, we are all standing on the, the shoulder of giants like him. Um, this one goes out to him. Rest in power.